How do you make the molecular orbital diagram for HE2 2 plus? Start by drawing in the highest energy atomic orbitals associated with each individual helium atom. By looking at the periodic table, we can see that the electron configuration for helium is equal to 1s2. This tells us that the highest energy atomic orbital associated with helium are the 1s atomic orbitals. So to start your molecular orbital diagram, draw in two 1s atomic orbitals at the same energy level, one for each helium atom. Then we need to draw in our molecular orbitals. One of the molecular orbitals will be higher in energy than the two atomic orbitals, and the other will be lower in energy than the atomic orbitals. The one that is lower in energy is a bonding molecular orbital, and we use the sigma 1s notation to represent this. The molecular orbital that is higher in energy is an antibonding molecular orbital called the sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital. Remember to connect your atomic orbitals with your two molecular orbitals. Now we need to fill in our molecular orbital diagram with electrons. So we need to figure out how many valence electrons each helium atom has. Normally, helium would have two valence electrons. However, we are trying to make the two plus ion. So we need to combine two He plus cations. This means that each helium atom will have simply one electron instead of two due to our positive charge. This means that the He2 2 plus ion will have a total of two valence electrons. So this one electron will fall into that atomic orbital and this one will fall into here. And then these single electrons will fall to the lowest energy molecular orbital available according to the off bound principle, which is the sigma 1s bonding molecular orbital. They completely fill it up with two electrons, while the antibonding molecular orbital remains empty. And this is your completed molecular orbital diagram for the He2 2 plus ion. Now, what is the bond order of He2 2 plus? The bond order tells us the strength of a bond and stability, as well as the number of electron pairs involved in the bond. And it is equal to one half the number of bonding electrons, which are found in the sigma 1s molecular orbital, minus the number of antibonding electrons, which are found in the sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital. So the bond order for HE2 2 plus is equal to one half times the bonding electron, of which there's two, minus the antibonding electrons, of which there's none. One half of two is equal to one, which tells us that a single bond exists in HE2 2 plus molecule, or that there is one electron pair, which consists of two electrons. So the Lewis dot structure for HE2 2 plus would consist of two helium atoms, or more precisely, helium cations, bonded together with a single bond, and a total net charge of 2 plus on the structure. Finally, is the HE2 2 plus molecule paramagnetic or is it diamagnetic? Because there are only paired electrons within the molecular orbitals and no unpaired electrons present, we can say that the HE2 2 plus molecule is diamagnetic, which means that the HE2 2 plus ion will be repelled by an external magnetic field. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.